Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to the first of three matches between myself and fellow YouTuber Alistair Findlay. Now this video is recorded from my perspective and it was done while the match was played and Alistair did the same but from his perspective, obviously. So you can check out the match um, on his YouTube channel which the link is on screen and you get to see what he saw while the game was being recorded. So since recording though, we've also agreed that there's going to actually be commentary from a neutral perspective by an independent party. And that independent party is fellow Brit and thoroughly nice fellow Jim Cogan. And you can see that version of the game on his channel. So all in all, this is probably the single biggest Zero AD collaboration of all time. There's not really a lot on about Zero AD as so say three people is almost certainly the biggest. Um, anyway, let's get on to the match because the rules are very simple. It's random civilization, 200 max pop, low resources on a small mainland map with a random biome. So let's get into it. Welcome, it's uh, 1v1 and it's me against Alistair, so if you want to watch from his perspective then you can see that on in his channel, um, but as it is I'm making, I've done pretty well out of this I have to say, I started with the Britons which is about as good as it gets um, in terms of random things and he got the Athenians which isn't a bad option either quite a quite a fan of those so that's that's fair enough let's have a look around there we've got all these berry trees and what have you so for that reason i am gonna uh, build a farmstead here and i'll get the um and i'll also yeah i'll get the berry upgrade as well so let's see this is the ideal thing. You send your dog in and the dog will take out quite a few of the women before um, before anything much has happened. So as long as you can keep the dog from uh, getting too... Um, sorry, yes, yeah, so you want to keep the dog um, from getting involved with the actual soldiers but as long as he's uh, just fighting the women you saw they killed a couple of women straight off so that's a pretty decent um return for that so i've had a pretty decent um start as things go I'm just gonna build another house here so these guys will get all my wood these guys, oh, I forgot the berry upgrade. I have to make a big point of how I'm going to use the berry upgrade. Didn't get it. So, let's see. Can this, can this dog come back round? There we go. It gives me an idea of what's going on in and around the base here. Right. Oh, Alistair's attacking me. And oh, my dog died as well. That's, that's sad. Um, right. Let's go and get some camels. In fact, I think that's a, a pretty reasonable. Um, well, he's really going at my women. Right, one of them's gone though. Oh dear. Perhaps these guys can just stay together. Let's get some more of those. And I'll just, yeah, let's try, try collecting food. I don't want to transition to... Um, to farms and stuff too early if I can help it so let's just take advantage of all these uh, these fig trees and 500 food there I'll get after he's been trying to take out my things uh, all of my people that are getting the um, getting the what you call it getting the wood it makes sense for me just to reinforce this a little bit oh what's happened here yes, 
This is the one I want, not that other guy, he's the one. His health is on barely anything. But that's okay. So just see if I get a load more cavalry going, that will help with that. These guys are doing a decent job here. In fact, let me just put a in there and I can get that so that we're getting the thing a bit more quickly. Come on. Come on, stone people. And then just get. Oh, he's, he's done a good job, actually. He's healed them up. So let's just get these guys to safety, if I can. And so that, let's get my slingers. Put these guys over here, because if we useful. Um, build another house as well. Um, this should see a safe. He's going to be finding it very difficult now. The slingers will take these guys out in no time. And so it shows. Let's get these guys going back there, right? Now I'm yeah, a bit disappointed with my uh, play in certain aspects there. I've been very slow at 44, it's not a good score at this point, uh, or got not a good population, but. I think I may be able to begin the transition to farms. So let's try and do that. While also taking uh, advantage of this thing, uh, the fact that there are so many of these um, these camels, they're such a great source of food. I'm going to want to get as much of that as possible. So the Athenians also start with slingers, so it's not going to be as easy as just going, right, I'll I'll have slingers, which gives me a huge advantage over my opponent because he also has slingers. But I want to get my first thing up. Let's see if we can get uh, these guys. Come on. There, are these guys. Let's get. I'll go. I'm actually. Short a house, which is not very good. Got people doing nothing, so come on, get shopping. But having the um, that gives me another bonus, fortunately. I just need to get um, get these guys out chopping wood. Because um, if we don't get much more wood, I'm going to struggle. I need to build some houses. That, that was silly. I shouldn't be using the, the woodcutters to build the houses because I need them to be chopping wood. Um, I should use the farmers because I've got plenty of uh, thing. And it is actually has said it is exactly the. All right, let's just get another one here. It is the houses that are holding me back at the moment. This is it's a bit more like it. We're starting to motor now. Um, still very, very uh, short of um, population. It's well below where I'd want it to be. But I'm hoping that those guys will 
um, yeah, take, get me the food. My cavalry will carry on getting me the food. And I can then, let's get out to here because that's a better opportunity. Let's get another house built. Okay, here we go. They can't really do a lot for me. Uh, they can't really attack too much there. Let's see if we can build out towards um, towards this wood here. It would be good to take that wood. And those slingers are going to do a very important job for me. Let's get another five. So you know, just a little trick there. If you want to get fields built, you can set these guys to their next action to be build a field, and then you can just put the thing there because the next action will um, they're never going to get around to that next action which is the interesting thing so because of that because they never reach uh, the next action oh, there's one let's where is he coming in out. Yes, that was pretty smart. He's, uh, he came in a little attack around the side, but I'm hoping that these slingers will do the job. Um, once I've got to phase two, I'll get another load of slingers to come here. Let's get that upgrade. These guys are safe, there's plenty of them there. These guys are also clearly safe. So let's just get a few skirmishes to add to the to the list and I'll see if, what have I got? Six fields? Five fields, that's not sufficient. But how many women do I have here? Thirteen. That will get me up to eight fields virtually. And that will be sufficient. Um, what have we got? Right, somewhere. Need to build some houses again. These guys just take out these. Okay, they all died, as expected. That's pretty decent. How many do we have here? That should be nine. That's right, so I'll get another one. Okay, it's got to be time soon. Oh my word. I haven't played with Britons for so long, I've kind of forgotten that you really have to um, um, you really have to take care of the houses because they will cause you a lot of problems if you don't Okay. Let's just get some houses up. Get back to here. I've got those guys are going to go and do a bit more exploration. Let's grab a couple more skirmishes after this. I haven't got any skirmishes at the minute. Let's grab those. Eight fields should be more than enough, and I'm going to actually come around this side because I want to um, protect these farmers a little bit. So I'll build a tower there, and then I'll get, get some of this. And that way, if he brings his cavalry around that side, um, we're we're all set. It's not a problem. Ah, I mean, wow, that was a a weird um, selection choice there. So I wanted to get right at this one. Yeah, I've got some people coming. We're going to get some metal, uh, which will help us. I'm going to get this upgrade. What are we at? I don't even know what my population is. 109 after 13 minutes. That's yeah, pathetic, yeah. frankly. Um, I really haven't 
got my head around the fact that I really need to start booming. Um, oh god, we're so short of wood. And so, uh, to counter that, I'm obviously going to build a load of houses. Um, you can tell it's late at night, I'm not doing very sensible things. But the good thing about having lots of stone and having the slingers is that in a position where this can happen, what I actually intended to do there was build a market. Start doing a bit of trading. Okay, now we can, so let's build it. And then let's go. I always add that to control group 5. So that means, oh, I've got my cavalry. I haven't uh, done anything. I'm just sat there. See if I can just cause a bit of annoyance. These are women, so I'm happy to come in there and start to attack and hopefully get a few of them. pretty happy with that but whoa he has got quite the force actually let's bring those guys back there and then get those guys going like this then slingers let's see what can I are these mine yeah they are right it is I'm gonna get a thing up here let's get ourselves to phase three so it looks like we're both at phase two. Um, let's build that tower. We've got a tower here. These guys need to come to. Oh my word, this is so frustrating. Look at that. Can't quite get a position. Ah, can just take out that stump. How annoying. A tiny stump causing all the problems. Okay. Now we're in a position where we can go. I think it's time to start really getting these barracks up and in doing so I'm just going to put some sword cavalry in there because oh he doesn't have rams does he? Uh, the Athenians. They're actually at a weird I think they're the only civilization that doesn't have um, let's buy just a little bit. Um, doesn't have any kind of, doesn't have rams or um, elephants, which is, uh, yeah, which is unique. Every other civilization has one of those kind of close range, smashing stuff up weapons. So we're now pushing out towards Alistair's base. I think now might be the chance. Time. How many? How short are we? Let's see if we can. Build a city centre on his doorstep. If I can get this up, then that gives us a big, big opportunity. I need to build some houses quickly as well. And then get back there. So we're going to be at phase three very soon. With any luck, this goes up. But it'll be interesting because he is actually attempting to get some upgrades. If this does go up, it'd be. This is something, as he looks like he can see it, it's surprising that he's allowing this to happen. And even more that he would allow me to put a thing up there. What are we short of? Our oh, food and wood. 
Um, let's get, where are they? I've so many of these. Come on, they must be able to get 56. There we go. Alright, slingers against slingers, but we have a tower. These guys are going to be able to hold it together. Let's back off a bit. Get ourselves nice and safely, summon them into the tower. Once they're in the tower, we can start to do something with this. And this guy's just going to get himself killed being there. This, but these guys are now in trouble. Um, it's just gonna run into this um, is useful. Let's see. Ah, our stone. Let's grab some more stone. Need to build a fortress, but don't have the stone for it. Can I just? Right now, at least we're fighting under the. Um, with the protection of the, um, I've got the, the temple as protection, but I also have the um, the guys in the civic center as well as the tower. So this is a very, very strong position. Let's start taking this stuff out. Come on, what do you have? I want these guys to take this because if we can take over that, then it looks very good. And start to move into his territory. I, um, and I have normally I would set this to four, which allows me to access um, to get it with a. Okay, don't get too close. Once they get too close, there's no point like there's no point having that fight, you don't win. Let's see. Well, it's still short of stone, there's metal there. But come on people. Still need to be um yeah, short of stone because of the uh the fortress as uh, the fortress because I'm making so many slingers but I do want to make a fortress as well so let's see what we can do we've got a bit of a force here try and get these guys I'm actually going to try a couple of these let's see so he's coming around the side he's determined to launch an attack which is interesting Come on, guys. Let's do it. Let's see this happen. I'm hopeful. Oh, these guys are having a fight here. Jeez. This is an interesting one. I, I'm hoping that these extra guys will be sufficient to see this thing through. Right, let's get back to taking over this. And he looks like he's kind of putting a... Let's see. Ugh.
11 stone. This looks, this um, it looks like I've made a, I've done all right with this engagement. So that's not too much of a problem. That's cool. Uh, let's garrison that to get a bit more thing. And then I can begin, actually, if this one is still, okay, on this one, I can get that. Uh, these guys, these 21, go after that, and these 12, come on, let's go and get some more wood out here. This looks bad for Alistair, I have to say. Yeah, I think he's given up. Well, he has just given up. Um, yeah, I didn't even get my fortress up in the end. Never got the, the stone. It's too busy using it for other things. So, come on, let me get some stone. Ugh. It is possible just to kind of, oh dear, these guys are just being very silly now. Hey, we've built, we can get a fortress. Let's build that, my people, is he trying to take over a farmstead for no reason? So he says GG, but he doesn't mean it. Oh, no he did. There we go. So that was that was the game. Let's uh, have a quick look and see what happened. So I, basically I got lucky with with the draw of the factions. They're very easy to use. They didn't play very well at all. But got, yeah, lots more text um, in terms of chart. Let's just see about the various units. Yeah, I was always kind of ahead. Um, but let's see what happens. We'll go and look at the other side from Alistair's point of view. Go and watch that. And then let's, yeah, let's see. Um, obrigado e adeus.